Hey there, my name is Jess and welcome to Atlanta. Today we will be talking about it. I remember watching the trailer and I remember it saying coming out in March and I just so totally forgot about it, but better late than never, right? Okay. All right, so we have an opening scene. We have two guys sitting on the boat, um, drinking and fishing at night. Which, honestly, that whole scene was giving me uh, Lake Lanier vibes. If you live in Georgia, or if you don't live in Georgia, um, and you know about Lake Lanier, what they say, if you know, you know. <laughs> One of the guys was talking to the black guy. He was saying, you know, this lake is haunted. It's a whole town underneath us. Um, black folks lived in this town. The guy was like, for real? You serious? You lying. Quit playing. He wasn't saying it like that. Even the black guy or the black man shared a traumatic experience about him being there. He was like, you know, basically I almost drowned when I was a little kid. My cousin had to pull me out, but it was like something kept pulling me. And that's when he said, you know, they, this is haunted and stuff like that. Honestly, I kind of kind of felt like it was haunted. Like even the black guy, he was like, man, this place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, not the heebie-jeebies. I feel like if a place is giving you the heebie-jeebies, then you need to he be on out of there, okay? <laughs> the white guy tells him, like, you know, it's a lot of souls down up in there, up under here and stuff like that. So the guy continues on, and he even says, um, you know, that we're cursed too. And then, like, when he says that, he turns and look at him, and there's, like, no eyes, but this pale face. He's pale at this crap at this point. He has no eyes. And then, like, all these black hands just come and put their hands on top of, like, the guy, the black guy, and they pull him under. But then we are, well, we don't wake up, but Laquarius wakes up, and clearly it was a horrible dream that he was having. So he wakes up, and the teacher is in there talking to them. Um, about the program and they said we're gonna go on a field trip and we're going to go to see Black Panther 2. So with excitement, Laquarius stands up, stands on the, the desk and starts to dance. He's excited and while his classmates they start to cheer here on. Hey, hey, hey. They cheering him on. Laquarius amping up. He's still just a dancing. Teacher saying, Laquarius, sit down. Laquarius, sit down. Laquarius is like, nope. Make me. He was getting it. Then he was getting it to the principal office. And they called his mom and his grandfather. And I'm just like, now, Laquarius, you're not going to be able to go see Black Panther. So the principal is talking to the grandfather and his mom along with the guidance counselor. And she's like, the mom's like, and I told y'all about calling me down here to this school. And the principal's like, well, your son is in trouble. He's in trouble. He was standing, standing dancing on top of a desk. What, what, what do you want me to do? What, what should I do? And so the guidance counselor's like, Mrs. Such and Such, Laquarius mother, I am a big fan of your child, meaning I see your child all the time. He's always in my office. Um, your child's keep getting in trouble. And she's like, well, give him detention. Just like every other child that behaves in school, give him detention. And she's like, yeah, we have loads of times. It's not working. So at this point, I just feel maybe that your child is not grasping the material. And basically, they wanted to put him in remedial classes. And, she, and the mom's like, uh-uh, what you're not going to do is basically say that my child is dumb and put him in remedial classes. Uh-uh. So, I honestly, I agree with her on that because let's go back to Abbott Elementary. Do you remember in Abbott Elementary where Courtney was acting out, doing these little antics, shenanigans and stuff? And it was all because she wasn't being challenged. Well, in this case, they're saying that the guy, well, the material is challenging and that he's a little... Um, slow and grasping it and learning it. But mama said no. And she grabbed him and they walked out. And, you know, the principal looked at the guidance counselor, the guidance counselor looked at the principal, and the guidance counselor, Mrs. I, I don't know their last name, I forgot. Mrs. Da -da 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 -da. She's chasing after them. But then when we come around the corner, we see that they, the mom and the grandfather is kind of punishing him by making him do like the nay nay and the whip and all kinds of dance, even the worm. She tells him, you know, 
you over here laughing with your class, laughing with your class, but they're not laughing with you. They laughing at you and they're going to keep laughing. They'll keep laughing until you're either dead or in jail. Don't white folks will kill you. That is what she said. And so, you know, the guy's comes like, wait a minute, don't say that. We, I would never hurt Laquarius. She didn't say that, but that's how I felt like she wanted to say. So the man that's not of many words, the grandfather walks up to her, slap, slap, slap. And I was like, whoa, you just slapped him? Especially you just stopped in front of this white lady? I'm going to did that. No, I'm going to have done that. And so, of course, she's like, oh, my gosh. You just slapped him in front of me? She didn't panic like that, but y'all know, y'all know. So she was a little like taken aback by that. And I, I'm going to admit I was too. Like, whoa, you just slapped this child. I wouldn't have slapped him. I, I don't, I don't want to put my hands on you. Mom tells the queries to go back to class and the, guid- ca- the guidance counselor guiding him to class and says, don't worry, I'm going to get you out of this. So obviously she called the people on the the mom and the grandfather they're at home and Laquarius is eating his spaghetti and was watching tv but mama said turn it off uh child services and the police show up at the door and so she like mama answered the door. she like um can I help you and so the lady is like I'm here for I'm here with uh child services and I just need to speak with um a low 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 crew and then my Laquarius and so then she said yes that's it and so then Laquarius called she said did you call the police on me no I didn't call the police and so you know she's not believing him I don't know why she didn't believe him because he not he didn't call the police and so she's like, okay, you know what? You don't want to be here. Well, first she turned around and saw the lady. Y'all done effed up. You don't want to be here. Talking to the chorus at this point. You don't want to be here. Get your stuff. So she going there. She grabbing his stuff. And you're not going to take everything I bought you. <laughs> Sound just like my mom on that part. So then he's like, but I didn't call. I didn't call. But then I heard the grandfather in the background tell them like, yeah, y'all better have came and got this book before I killed him. Now, why would you say that? why would you think that was appropriate to say? Why would you say, why would you say, why would you say that? You got this main, the, the welfare lady right here, the, the child service lady, and then you got two police officers. Like, yeah, y'all better head came and got him before I killed him. Why would you say that? Y'all, that really bothered my soul. Aquarius goes to be with his new foster family oh y'all this family right here they're on the the porch waiting for the lady the, the lady to the new foster parent to come and open the door she comes and she's like hi thanks for doing this and i'm just like shut up lady shut up see now i feel like you in cahoots with these two ladies and i'm being ready to talk about as i started watching more of this i'm like okay i don't know how you got this job Maybe you blackmail somebody like uh, Ava in Abbott Elementary. That's how you got your job. I don't know. But I don't trust you. LaQuarrius walk in and he's like, what's that smell? It stinks. And she's like, no, honey, it doesn't stink. It's because we meet the new mom, Amber. And, well, mom, excuse me. Her name's Amber. She's like, no, honey, it doesn't stink. We're just making some African doo-doo and kombucha. kombucha. And I've heard of kombucha. I think I'm saying it wrong. I might be, I don't know, but I've heard of that. I used to have a roommate back in college that um, loved that stuff. And then we meet his other mom. Now, he said, do do I call you both mom? And Amber was like, yes, but she said, either she said Kale or Gail. I'm going to say she said Gail. I love animals. I do. But I also feel like some animals are not that cute. And this animal kind of looked like Boo Boo. This this dog was not the prettiest thing. It looked so... It, And you know why it probably looked like that? It probably looked like that because it... it I mean, look at the, the, the owners. I mean, the dog didn't even look like it was well like kept like it was groomed well like they don't groom like they groom it itself or the dog groom itself i don't know but as he walking out she's like can you hand me that fried chicken talking to the wife hands her the fried chicken i'm like you're cooking and you're holding the dog and you have the chicken ah that's unsanitary so then she starts to put the chicken 
in the microwave. Like this is Flavor Flav. I feel like, what was that girl name? I cannot think of her name. But she was on Flavor Flav and she put the chicken in the microwave. Who does that besides her? I was like, oh my God, y'all. She just Flavor Flaved it up. She was really like way ahead trying to kill the, these kids and herself and her wife. The only person she wasn't trying to kill was a dog because apparently the dog had a hamburger for dinner. What? Okay, anyway. So Laquarius go upstairs. He looking at his brother and sister. They looking at him. He puts the stuff down. Then we hear a, hey. I was like, oh my God, that's so creepy. Why did you, what are you doing? Why did you just sneak around like that? Hey. And she give him this, this, this towel and it has the name Larry. He's like, who's Larry? And she's like, well, I didn't know how to spell Laquavia. So we're going to call, so we're going to call you Larry. Larry's a cool nickname. It's a good nickname. It's a good name or something like that. And I would have been like, nah, bruh, my name is Laquarius. You ain't calling me no Larry. So then, y'all, he says, where is the washcloth? And the kids are like. <laughs> and then she's like, no, 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 no. It's okay. He's new. He's new. He's new. We don't have those. And I and I said to myself, I bet you they don't have washcloths. When he asked that, I said, they ain't got it. And true enough, I was right. And so then he's like, she said, you use your hands. And he said, well, Am I supposed to use my hand to wipe my butt? Oh, we have to take a picture. I was like, oh my gosh, here we go. Oh my gosh, this lady is, this lady is re- ridiculous. So they take their little pictures or whatever. So they go down to dinner. We look at this uncooked raw chicken that's going to make these kids sick along with, with look like an avocado and some I don't know what it was. He was like, I want a hamburger. We don't have meat. We don't eat hamburgers, something like that. But then you look over at the dog in a high chair eating a hamburger. Lord have my dead dog. Was... I was like, oh my God, that thing looks, uh, looks like it just came from the pet cemetery dead. I just, ugh. it just made my skin crawl. If that dog really looked like that in real life, I'm sorry. But that just made my skin crawl. Anyway. <laughs> So basically, they did not have a good dinner. He did not have a good dinner. He went to bed hungry. And he was like, I hate this place. And she said, we do not say hate. Gail said, we don't say hate in this house. Hey, 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 hey. Me too, Larry. <laughs> Me too, Laquarius. Me too. So then we see them outside. And they putting these kids to work. And I was like, see, something don't sit right with me with this. Why these kids, look, they're picking vegetables and fruits and stuff. But I was like, see, See, I see what y'all doing here. If it was, it just reminded me of like the slaves back there picking cotton. And then you got the slave masters, owners, whatever, sitting there just chilling. They was getting pleasure out of that. You can't tell me they wasn't. They was getting pleasure, pure pleasure, watching these kids do this labor. The little boy said, we haven't had lunch. She said, you did have lunch. You had celery and, you had celery sticks and, um, carrot sticks so then she was like why don't you sing a song make the time go by so he started singing this y'all i i do not know rap the, the new rap songs i don't know it. i don't listen to it so um yeah i had to google it and apparently it's an nba yeah but why do these people name this name of nba what does that mean anyway doesn't matter but somebody and he started rapping i feel like i'm gucci in 2006 something like that and then she was like no no no, oh my gosh, no, don't don't bring that rap in here. No, sing something like, and it reminded me like she was trying to, along the lines of like a, a old Negro spiritual song. Like, I don't want to work no more. I don't want to work. I don't know. It was just weird. And then like her and her wife, they, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, just stop. So then they go to the farmer's market or I think it was like a festival or something like that where he have on like this fedora and then the other kids, they got, they, they're they wearing these signs and it says like free hugs. When he walked up to him and said, oh, it's hugs your dad. Uh, uh, a what? It took me a minute to realize, I was like, hugs why was somebody why how does that even make sense but then i was like you know what he runs see this police officer runs and hugs him and he's telling him everything that's going on and 
He is just like, they make me sleep in the closet. They don't feed me. Da, 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 da. The mothers, they come and then they're like, officer, this is my son. Da, da, da. We're selling kombucha. Would you want some? You know? And he's like, I think he's just tired. He's, he mentioned something about going home. I think he's uh, thought that I would arrest you because you guys wouldn't let him play PlayStation. Now, you know that boy ain't said nothing like that. He said what he said. You heard it. But, but you see... These people, you're just like, oh, yeah, you know, it's nothing. He's just being a kid. He just told you they're not feeding him. They make him sleep in the closet. Gail has a nerve to say that he was snitching. So then we get a, a visit from a social worker. <laughs> yeah. She's just looking around. She's like, what is that smell? I see dog hair here going there. And she sees that the little girl is over there sick. She coughing. And she looked, she said, what is this? And they was like, it's blueberries. It's it's like medicine or something like that. I don't know. I thought it was blood at first. I was like, y'all, this little girl is coughing up blood. Uh, I felt bad, but something about some blueberries being medicine or something like that. But anyway, the girl was sick. And them folks was killing her. So then we see LaQuarrie standing at the doorway to the kitchen. And she walked up. She said, do you like living here? And he, I'm, I'm really hungry. My poor heart. Oh, she's like, don't worry, baby. I'm going to get you out of here. And so she, Amber's over there like. And so Gail is like, can I talk Can I talk to you in private? There's some things you don't know. Because first, when she invited the lady in, she was like, where's such and such such? And the lady was like, she's sick. See, that's why I said I think this lady was in cahoots with them. Because there's no way you can walk up in this house and say that everything is fine. These kids are fine. The house is fine. Everything looks great. No. So I don't know how that lady got her job either. But it's so unfortunate because there are people out there that's like that. That will sit up here and say, or will look at everything and be like, oh, yeah, it's great. And and then I, you get these foster these foster moms or parents or whatever. They be beating their kids, starving their kids, doing all kinds of things to their kids. It's these kids, not there. These kids. And it's just crazy. Anyway, so then the lady takes the... I don't even understand why the woman agreed to go out back. It made no sense to me. Why did you agree to go out, out back with her? Do you not... Do you... Do you... For, well, first of all, I would not have went there alone. I would have went... I, I would have to have like three police officers with me. <laughs> because... um just in case something go down, I know y'all got me. I'm just saying. And clearly something went down because they went outside the top. Gail came back in. It was like, everything's fine. And so then she sits down at the table like it's nothing. They're getting ready to eat. And she's staring straight at Laquarius. And Laquarius like, <sighs> And he eats the chicken. I said, please, baby, don't do it. And he did. And I was like, no, no. Then he got sick. He had like a little nightmare. Y'all, this was, it was not funny, but it was funny because when he was opening the the refrigerator, you see the lady's head in a jar. And then when he turned around, you know, somebody standing behind him, it was the doll. Oh, my God. With the grandfather glasses on and the grandfather's clothes. I just could not. I could stop. <laughs> I could stop laughing. Like, why is that? Why they do that? It look ugly, doll. And, oh, he throws up in the bathroom, comes out. He's in his pajamas. And he's like, Amber, where are we going? And she was like, oh, get dressed. We're getting ready. We're going to the Grand Canyon. So then he walks up to her closer. And he was like, where are we really going? So we see Gail coming to. Larry, go get dressed. We're leaving. We got to leave. We got to go. Gail run the show. We already figured that out. She, she be, She's the one that run the things. They done brainwashed all these kids. Honestly, I kind of feel like maybe she had some brainwashing that she did on Amber. I don't know. Because Amber old ditzy self. She very ditzy like. But I kind of feel as if she did not want to continue to do the little things that they've been doing anymore. So as Laquarius is walking out. Boy, he was just dressed so horrible. But I just felt so bad for him. All of those kids actually. He sees the the social workers clipboard. Trash bags and stuff. Which I feel like was filled with her body or whatever. 
So then they get in the van or whatever and they're driving along. So then they fall asleep and it's like nighttime at this point and they stop. And they let corn pop free, which I found was really interesting. But I'll get to that in a second. So let the little dog go free, and Gail, and she's crying, and Gail is like, you know, corn pop's strong. He'll, he'll, he's a survivor. He'll be able to survive out there. Somebody will find him and take care of him. Well, out of the good stuff. Hmm. So then they stand there, there, and Amber is like, "What the heck are we doing?" And I'm like, "Yeah, what are you doing?" And she's like, "You know, Gail's like, you know." These kids, like, basically, they would be lost without us. We are good people. It's so many, like, crazy people out there. Like, we are the ones that's saving humanity. <laughs> I don't know. But that's what she what she's saying. It kind of making me seem like, like, she believe in everything that she's saying about being, uh, saving these kids or being a light to these kids. Ma'am, you are contributing to society's, crazy and in abusive system so they get back in the car and she's like i can't do this and he, she's like don't look back gail looked back to make sure them kids was back down and she looked she see movement back there and then she looked down at laquarius and she see his little hat all right cool so they start driving and she started driving in the middle of the road this song playing and she's like oh, this is amber in the driver's seat tears start coming down and gail is like she takes her hand, holds it or whatever. And so then Gail, cause like, I think she heard something before, but she just didn't think to look, you know, look back. Or she looked back, but she's like, nah, it probably can't be. But then she hears like a, <laughs> like a whining kind. So she looks and she takes the hat and she see Cora Pup just, and she's looking. So then we see the little, the little hatch of the, the 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 back of the van go up and then we see Laquarius take the his the sleeping bags or the whatever comforters or whatever, wrap himself up. He's out. He's out. And she ooh y'all, the face she was like Larry Larry and, and and it was just crazy. And then we see them go over on that uh over the bridge. I was like, my boy, my boy, my boy escaped. But then I was like, what happened to the other kids? Did you just leave them? No, you're not like that, Laquarius. So then um he walks home. He goes home. We see him washing dishes, and the mom's like, mm, you finally decided to come home. Lady, if you only knew what your son been through. If you only knew. But my thing was, I wonder why she didn't say anything to him. Because he was clearly in, you can look at his clothes. It was very dirty. You can, you can clearly see that he's been through something. You didn't think to be like, oh my gosh, my baby, what happened? Or anything like that. You just said, so you just, you finally decided to come out. You didn't want to ask. First of all, I would have never sent him away. That's my opinion. So he's in there eating spaghetti and um Ern wakes up and we see he was coming out of a dream. So I was like, wow, a dream within a dream. That's fun. How fun is that? It was kind of cool that they started that he started out out with this um the first episode being like I guess going in that kind of direction. It being like that, talk or having a a story like that and then waking up as a dream. Oh. So um, cause I was wondering, I was like, hmm, we ain't gonna see nobody from Atlanta, huh? So that's all I have for you guys right there. I will see you guys in the next video. I will try to catch up. I don't even know when new episodes come out. <laughs> I'll figure it out though. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Jess is signing off. Bye.